Three months after the Costa Concordia ran aground, Italian authorities today identified five bodies recovered from the cruise ship. They include Jerry and Barbara Heil of White Bear Lake, Minnesota, the only Americans among the 32 fatalities. Alan Pizzi reports the ship is still lodged on a reef off the island of Giglio. The fate of the massive liner is still to be determined, but there is a growing sentiment that the rock which ripped a 160-foot gash in the hull should be turned into a monument for those who died. Only two bodies remain unaccounted for. The environmental disaster many feared has been averted. All the fuel has been pumped off, along with sewage and dangerous liquids such as cleaning materials for the 4,000 people who once traveled on the Costa Concordia. The trappings of what was once luxury, deck chairs, furniture, and even mattresses are being retrieved from the seabed and brought ashore. It can't go fast enough as far as the people of Giglio Island are concerned, according to tourist board head Elizabeth Anani. You know, it doesn't belong there. It's huge and it's uh, just not part of the scenery and it's not part of what Giglio is famous for. Boatman Mauro Preti, who runs a shuttle service for journalists and others going out to the wreck, agrees. I don't like this, uh, <laughs> this situation because uh, we are a, a touristic uh, island. But you'd like to see the boat gone? Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> if, uh, prima possible. As soon as possible. Yeah, as soon as possible. Yeah. Refloating the Costa Concordia is expected to cost about $300 million, roughly half the value of the ship when it was launched. Once it's afloat, it'll be towed back to its home port. Then it's up to the insurance company to decide whether or not it can be put back into service or simply turned into scrap metal. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Giglio, Italy. We wondered, how do you refloat a ship that's that large? Well, we found out first the hole in the hull would be patched, and then industrial strength cranes sitting on barges secured to the seafloor would right the ship. The water would be pumped out, air would be pumped in, and then a fleet of tugboats would tow it away. As for the captain of the Costa Concordio, Francesco Schieto, he is still under house arrest awaiting formal charges which would include, or could include, manslaughter.